Science Journal for Kids and Teens presents, Can We Use Bacteria to Make Renewable Rocket Fuel? Adapted from the original peer-reviewed paper in the journal Juul, published on June 30th, 2022. Research conducted by Pablo Cruz Morales, Kevin Yin, J.D. Kiesling, and others from the Joint Bioenergy Institute at the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory. See the full list of authors and their affiliations in the accompanying PDF. Read by Miranda Wilson. Abstract. NASA's space shuttle has to go really fast to reach outer space. In fact, it has to go about 300 times faster than a car going 60 miles per hour, or 97 kilometers per hour. Rockets need fuel with lots of energy to go that fast. We call these high energy fuels. Airplanes and cargo ships use the same type of fuel. Right now, these high energy fuels are made using fossil fuels. When we burn fossil fuels, it causes climate change. It would be nice if we can make high energy fuels more sustainable. Some bacteria make molecules that have lots of energy. We wanted to know if we could use these molecules to make more sustainable high energy fuels. We looked at DNA from bacteria. We also used some clever chemistry. And we made a new biofuel. It seems to have even more energy than the high energy fossil fuels we have now. Introduction. Do you know what we use fossil fuels for? You probably know we use gas or petrol for cars. If you live somewhere cold, your family might use fossil fuels to heat your home. We need to use less fossil fuels to slow down climate change. But they are everywhere. We even use fossil fuels to make things like crayons, toothpaste, and plastics. It might be tough, but we need to break up with fossil fuels. We do have some sustainable fuels already. We call them biofuels. We already use them to power specially adapted cars. But it is very hard to find high energy fuels that are sustainable. We use these types of fuels to power rockets and airplanes. These fuels are hard to make and they are dangerous. They are also expensive. Here in figure one, you can see that burning fossil fuels releases gases that trap heat in the atmosphere. This causes the average global temperature to increase and the climate to change. In the figure, you can see sources of fossil fuels like industry, vehicles, and houses. The edge of the atmosphere can be seen with a red line. It traps greenhouse gases and radiation from the sun. When we burn fuels, we make energy. That energy comes from breaking apart the fuel molecules. In high energy fuels like jet fuel, many of the molecules look like rings. Rings contain a lot of energy. But molecules that look like triangles have the most energy. Just imagine trying to bend a straw into a triangle shape. You have to put a lot of work into keeping the shape. Otherwise, it will spring back to being a straw. Breaking ring-shaped or triangle-shaped molecules makes them release a lot of energy, but it's hard to make fuel with lots of these molecules in a lab. Luckily, some bacteria make molecules with this triangle shape. Bacteria use them to kill fungus. We call these molecules pop molecules. We wanted to make high-energy fuels with pop molecules from bacteria. We call them pop biofuels. Can we make them in a safe and easy way? Can we make them quickly and sustainably for the future? Methods. There are a lot of bacteria on our planet, over 30,000 different kinds, but very few of them can make pop molecules. One, first, we had to find bacteria that make pop molecules. Two, so we did some DNA detective work. We looked at the DNA of 7,762 different bacteria. Three, we found that some soil bacteria produce pop molecules on their own, but the bacteria were hard to grow in our lab. 
4. So, we transferred the DNA that made pop molecules from the bacteria. Then we changed the DNA to make pop molecules in a different bacteria that was easier to grow. 5. Then we modified these pop molecules to turn them into high-energy pop biofuels. 6. Finally, we compared the pop biofuels to other fuels. Results. We discovered a new way to make pop biofuels from pop molecules. Our new pop biofuels are high energy. They can also be kept at room temperature. This means that they can be used for a lot of things, like fueling ships and airplanes. These pop biofuels might even be higher energy than the fuels we have now. We found a new, sustainable, and safe way to make high energy fuel from bacteria. Here in figure two, you can see different types of fuels and the amount of energy they contain. The y-axis on the graph represents the energy density. On the x-axis, you can see a variety of fuel sources from the least dense on the left to the most dense on the right. Green bars indicate the fuel is a sustainable biofuel and dark gray bars indicate fossil fuels. Above each bar, you can see what type of vehicle that fuel is commonly used in. Ethanol, used in cars, is on the far left, followed by biodiesel for trucks, jet fuel for airplanes, gasoline for cars, synthetic cyclopropane fuel for rockets, and pop biofuel for rockets. Looking at the graph, what type of fuel contains the most energy? Discussion. The climate is changing because of fossil fuels. Scientists think the planet will warm by 2.5 degrees Celsius by 2100. Humans and the environment will both suffer. We need to stop using fossil fuels as fast as possible. We need high energy fuels to launch rockets and fly airplanes. Current biofuels don't have enough energy to help. Rocket launches today are rare. Going into space might be more common in the future, but flying is quite common now. If we can make high energy biofuels, we could help slow climate change. We made high energy pop biofuels using bacteria we can replace fossil fuels with more sustainable ones. This can help slow climate change. Next, we need to make more pop biofuels and put them to the test. Conclusion. We depend on fossil fuels for so many things in our lives. We use them to fuel our cars and make the plastics that we use every day. It's a huge problem. Look around you. Maybe you're sitting on a plastic chair or using a plastic pen. And what about the clothes you wear? Have a look at the label. Does it say nylon, polyester, or acrylic? These fibers are all forms of plastic too. One simple way to reduce fossil fuel use is to shop secondhand for things like clothes and furniture. Or why not organize a clothes swap with your friends? And of course, it always helps to walk bike, or use public transportation instead of going by car whenever possible. Thank you for listening to this recording. Visit our website, sciencejournalforkids.org, for more free science teaching resources.